Hello guys, in this lecture we're gonna learn how to use calculated field in a quick site dashboard. So what we're gonna do, create a data set on S3 data, create a calculated field on date column, create a calculated column on equipment attribute. So you can watch the previous video to see like what, what do I mean by equipment attribute, right? So we have already the data sets explained in the previous video. So let's start. So we have all these four files uh, over here <clears throat> and they contain the data set also. So the data set is kind of like I'll show you here. So this is the data they contain. So this is date column, time column, equipment ID. These are the equipment in a data center. It's their name, equipment type, their attribute name like CPU utilization, attribute value, and the description. So let's go and create a data set into the quick site. So I will go click on the new data set. So I will say like S3 row data. And we need to use a manifest file which I'm gonna upload from my computer. So Yeah, so this is the manifest file and you just connect to that. So this is done and I would like to show you the manifest file also. This is the manifest file. So where you define the URIs and some setting like format is CSV, delimiter, text qualifier, contain headers. So all the things you are supposed to mention in the manifest file it's a JSON file so now let's go to the analysis so data set you can see should be available here oh looks like something is wrong I need to create again so s3 row data manifest file connect visualize create so this is the raw data so let's say I want to add a table here so you can see the now the message is like import is completed. These main numbers of rows are like imported to the spice. So spice is like scalable parallel in memory engine for calculations. So I will I would like to say show you how to use the calculated field. So I will start with this. This one I'm gonna remove. So let's say I am adding this date column here, then time, then equipment ID, equipment name, equipment type, attribute name, attribute value. So I'll change the label for this. So this is our raw data. Okay, so let's start. I want to change the format of this date. So this one is DDMMYY. So if we let's say if you want, but this one is 
a kind of like string representation so it's not actually date column representation so I want to add a date uh, column using means to pass into a actual date so let's click here on the calculated field date format so they I will show you like there is a parse date function here so once you click on this and then you can pass this date field here and it should show you let's add this one here so it's showing everything as a null so let's go back and change it so you can put some dd slash mm slash by 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 So this one is giving error now at the moment. So guys, in this, uh, like we are getting error from, right? So the best way to learn about all these calculated field in the quick side is just search the function here like this, parse date, select this one here, you gonna get a help over here so in this help like you can see like what is the syntax so we are doing parse date then date is the field name and then the format so even if it is not working then then you can click on the learn more and you will get more specific details like here so here it it's explaining about that so this is the example right so are you using the same thing so parse date is exactly same the column name is there and then format name is there so what mistake we are doing here is we are like trying to convert into dd mm by by so dd is small mm is capital and yy is not small right so this format these are the supported format so if you will make it change to smaller then it should work so like click save and then let's see how is the data formatted column is coming out yeah you can say it's coming out right that's good <clears throat> so now what's the next calculated field so next calculated field what we want to do is for equipment id let's say uh, this is the one right so i want to create a column equipment id one with cpu utilization is the attribute name and then like so for this equipment id i want cpu utilization and all the values in that column so now it's in a row so i want a column so let's start with that how to extract that thing so in this uh, we will say like we're gonna give equipment id equipment id one underscore cpu hyphen utilization so let's create this column and for this we will need a like if else construct so i'll start with this if else so you click here and click on the learn more also so that you know what is if else is doing So if else is here, 
so evaluate a set of if then expression parsing and return the value then argument for the first so in if else so main likely let me give you an idea so we want to say like if equipment id equal to here is the field like equipment id right is equal to one so we will say equipment id one and i would like to use and attribute name also i want now so attribute name is this one and attribute name equal to cp utilization so cpu utilization So this is the bracket we are closing here and then after this we will say if this condition met then value should be attribute value otherwise we can say it's zero and now we're gonna close the bracket and let's see if the syntax is correct or not Now, which I was expecting, so maybe what we have to do, we have to put it here, this one in the bracket. And so this one is kind of closing bracket here. So let's see how it goes now. Yes. So equipment ID, CP utilization, and then now let's add it into this table here and see how it's coming okay so you can see like for equipment id one right and if it is a cpu utilization we are getting the value right so all the four rows so values there for rest all are zero so it means this calculated field is also working because we have only four rows and which for which we are sh showing the values so if i want to just give you guys a little bit more idea on this so let's go to this if else here so click here go to the learn more and then if you go here so what's the explanation <clears throat> so you can put all the complicated like condition here yeah so similar to this if you look at it so you can put a condition like that similar condition we have given so if month equal to five or month less than equal to three so this is the if expression and uh, with a and condition so if this turn out to be a uh, true then this value will be the calculated field value otherwise this is going to be the value so this is how it's working so coming back now we can see like the calculated field so this is how you can practice more and more calculated field in this so in this documentation you will be able to see how to do the adding calculation adding calculated field so yeah so you have all these kind of function and the details so like if you want to to convert any anything into the lower so you can see right to lowers so all these kind of things are available here to lower